everyone, it's me, Krista. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. If not, welcome for the very first time to my little art corner here on YouTube. Today we are going to be doing the unboxing for December 2020 for the Sketchbox Premium Box. I'm running a little bit behind, but we're going to start catching up today. The art on this month's box looks like it's from the October box, and it is by Beck underscore Ryan. Our sticker this month is just a, a wonderful little tube of paint with a Sketchbox logo on it. As always, inside we have a demonstration of what can be done with the items in this month's box. This is by Gris. We met Gris while in Frankfurt, Germany, attending Creative World on the lookout for new and innovative art supplies. A previous featured artist, we partnered with him on this month's supplies with a few surprises. A self-taught artist with three decades of experience in the craft, his approach to art and education continues to inspire us. It's a lovely, moody little tree. I really enjoy how he used the supplies here. First, we're going to talk a little bit about the paper that was included in this month's box. It is a custom Hanmule toned watercolor pad. The retail price for this is normally $10. This custom toned pad has a new dimension to watercolor media, absorbance with a slight texture. It's perfect for watercolor pencils. Try thinning the white gouache and use it like Gris did. Next, we have a Marabu Fluids Art Brush Set. It has a three brushes in it. The retail price for this is normally $9.99. This refillable water brush set is great for filling in large areas, applying delicate washes, and more. Try filling the chamber with your favorite pigments. For all the swatches in this video, I ended up using the flat brush that came in here, and it worked pretty well. Now to get into some of the pigmented stuff we actually got. First, we have a Sketchbox Signature watercolor pencil set. With easy to lift pigments and perfect water solubility, these pencils allow you to truly achieve watercolor effects easily. The retail price for this is normally $11.99. I have used these before in a previous box. They sent some purples, oranges, and pinks. If I can find exactly which video it is, I will link it in that description box and at the end of the video. What I recall liking about these pencils is that I liked the fact that they were very pigmented when they were dry and that you could get them to be very light washes the more water you added to them. They also mixed pretty well and once the watercolor was dry, you could also layer the pencil on top of it multiple times. I also like how it's working on the toned paper that we have included, and I think the color selection this month was really great. It's a lot of fall colors, but you have that pop of blue in there, so it's quite versatile. We also got some Marabu Art Crowns this month in Terracotta and Caramel are the colors. These are normally $3.99 each. When used dry, this mixed media supply acts like an oil pastel, and adding water allows you to achieve smooth gradients with a variety of techniques. These I've gotten before in other boxes too. It's interesting because certain colors seem to work a lot better than others. It must just be how the pigments react with the binders. As an example, the caramel color seemed to work a lot better than the terracotta color in this month's box. They gave us a white gouache, which is really nice because we have toned paper this month. This is a whole by an artist gouache, five milliliter in white. It's permanent white specifically. Retail price for this is $6.10. Highly pigmented, opaque white that's great for highlights and creating tints. This water soluble paint mixes well with all watercolor mediums. I love how bright and opaque this white is. It's amazing. They also threw in something I've never used before. This is TCW Watercolor Sparks Powder in Olive. The retail price for this is normally $6. This watercolor pigment packs a punch. The microfine powder can be used in combination with water or any of your favorite mediums for fun effects. I just put it onto a watercolor palette I had and added some water to it, and it is super pigmented. I must have had a little bit of brown still on the brush I was using because, as you can see here, it mixed in with the olive color, and I think it had some really beautiful effects that came with it. I enjoyed playing around with this one the most. I am looking the most forward to using this because I think it's really pigmented. I love the color and it does indeed look like it will play with other watercolors very well and you do not have to use a lot of the pigment powder in order for it to pack a punch, which is great. I really like this and I really like that white gouache we just used and the watercolor pencils. The Marabu art crayons are always like a little iffy for me. I like the idea of them. I do tend to prefer to use them dry because I feel like with most of the colors, the water doesn't break it down quite enough and it, the pigments don't get very smooth. But that's because I apply it to paper. Maybe I should try putting it on a palette and then adding water. We'll see. 
The final item we have is a Derwent line maker. It is 0.8 and in black. The retail price for this is normally $3.99. With a super fine point and free flowing pigment ink, this pen is great for line work. Try layering it over your watercolors. I think I've used one of these before. I do like them. I do believe that you don't want to line before adding water because I don't think it holds up well to water. But with that, this unboxing, these swatches, and therefore this video are pretty much done. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you have any comments, questions, feelings, concerns, or you want to let me know how you felt about the items in the December 2020 Sketchbox box, let me know all about that in that comment section down below. If you want to see more videos like this, I do Sketchbox unboxings and projects once a month. As always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day or night to watch this video and listen to me ramble. I greatly appreciate it. I look forward to hearing from you guys soon, and you will definitely be hearing from me soon. Bye, everybody!